Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? Welcome back to yet another Asian robot build video. Today, the people's champ has been asked to provide an end game chain blade build. And I was also asked if I would do a dojo challenge with the chain blades. So we're gonna do all of that in one shot. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start off now. What I'm gonna say is that with the chain blades, all right, the chain blades are my favorite weapon in Dauntless, and I'm actually gonna provide you guys with number one, the general build that is safe for everybody. Okay, any skill level, whatever the usual, the usual traits, and then I'm gonna show you my personalized build. My personalized build is a little more extreme, but we're gonna go through that very shortly. Okay, first of all, we're gonna work with the general build. General build, very simple. All right. Death Blossoms, Berserker Cell, Tenacious Cell. Is this looking familiar? Because it's the exact same build that I've given you for the sword and the war pike. Reaper's Dance here, Mod, Serrated Blades. Now, some people prefer Momentum Blades. I'll tell you straight up that I use Serrated Blades for the general build. Okay, oh, it's safer. But, oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired after studying. But, the uh, got exams coming up in the 11th of June. But anyway. That's by the by. The momentum blades I use in my personalized build because they are stronger when you are DPS focused. All right. And chain blades uh, bonded to the Skarn's Malice. Okay. So that is the good stuff because obviously you want the stacking shield and whatnot. All right. So that's it for the weapon. The head. Again, this is the general build. Sight of Stone. All right. Fortress Cell. Mantle of Thorns is your chest piece with the Cascade Cell. You've got Malkyrion's Grasp with the Berserker Cell for your arm. And you've got your Nasha Treads with the Tenacious Cell for your legs. All right. Lantern, Ember Mains. Cascade Cell, standard. Plus six Berserker. Max, ma at maximum, 35% damage. Cascade Cell, plus six. Good for invulnerability, healing, extra damage. Predator, plus six. Another 35% damage. Tenacious, plus six. Now, this build will have 1,300 um, current hit points. So that means 13 times 2, 26%. These three together, 35 plus 35 is 70, plus 26, 96. Your, your raw damage is 96% straight off the bat, all right? So you're effectively doubling the effective damage that you can do with this build. I want to highlight that because people say, oh, it's not high DPS because it's toughness. You're dealing 96% bonus damage raw. The only way you can add more is what? Overpower? 60% when it's staggered. It's not even raw, so it's only when it's staggered. You, you get you gain the difficulty here. While the behemoth is not staggered, and it's not that easy to stagger high-level behemoths, all right? Quite frankly, your raw damage is much better, which is why this is a truly high DPS build. Okay? Okay. If, if, if that has gotten through to people, then hopefully uh, people will understand why this build is the way it is. And you also have your plus six toughness, which boosts your damage, thanks to Tenacious, and also gives you increased healing, good for self-preservation and survival. Fortress is just to give yourself an initial stacking shield. It adds 7% crit rate. All right, the calculations are every 50 shield, you gain 1% bonus crit. This gives you a total of 125 times three. That's 375. That's just uh, seven times 50. Seven times 50 is 7% easy okay this is the standard build standard now i'm going to show you my version my version a little crazier okay once again you start off with the death blossoms predator cell cascade cell okay reaper's dance momentum blades scarn bond okay hat nasher's cap okay toughness cell body piece thraxa's shadow cunning cell all right, Malkyrion's Grasp, Berserker Cell, Nasha's Treads, Tenacious Cell, okay? Ember Mains Lantern, Cascade Cell, same. What this gives you is plus six Cascade. You already know what that does. Plus six Cunning, more critical damage. And because this is a crit, uh, Tenacious really gives you a lot of crit, this is a crit build. So this ups your damage further. Predator. 35% because quite frankly, chain blades have hella dodges, and that's why this one uses momentum blades. More dodging, more airtime, it's better. Tenacious, same thing, plus six. Toughness, plus six. Berserker, plus three. Now, 
You have a choice. You have a choice. You can go plus six Berserker or plus six Predator. It's up to you. But I generally prefer plus six Predator. Because you want to use my version of the build, you should try to take minimal hits. The general build, take a hit if you feel like it. My build, you have to try and preserve yourself as much as possible. Okay? Again, that's that's the reason why my personal build, which I call the Demon Hunter, by the way. Look at that. Look at that swag. Illidan, Storm Rage style from World of Warcraft. Um, again, with the Demon Hunter build, you really want to make sure that uh, you're preserving yourself. And the reason why I go plus 6 Predator is because a plus 3 Predator only gives you 14%, which means the additional plus 3 gives you an additional 21%, whereas Berserker at plus 3 already gives you 20%. And the additional plus three gives you 15%. So it's a trade-off, but I trade it off for Predator instead because um, it just means overall higher base damage, right? And the weighted strikes comes from the Skarn's Bond. So this one also does not have the baseline 7% uh, from the shields, but you gain 10% instead from cunning. So you actually your baseline crit is higher without building up any shields. The only thing is that now you have to build up shields naturally from step one. And any if you happen to take an opening hit, that's gonna that's gonna hit you um, directly in the in the hit points, so your damage is gonna go down. So again, the key to this build is not taking a hit. Now, when I do this dojo challenge, right, I'm gonna do it in an extreme fashion because chain blades are literally my favorite weapon. I want to show you how this stacks up to the test of time. So I'm actually gonna go in with my personalized build to show you guys how this is done. First, I want to show you Iron Falls recommended chain blades level five. This is a four to six area. If I were to click on an escalation, I can't even enter it publicly. Recommend it is 10, right? But we can do a private hunt. So in order to do an extreme dojo challenge, straight up, we're going into an escalation 1 to 13 right now at level 1 chain blades. Okay? And for those of you that are not interested in seeing the dojo challenge or the demonstration, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe at this point in the video. You can also drop me a tip if you want to keep me alive, keep my content running, all right? This is my this is currently my income, so please feel free to tip me if you if you think my content is worthy. You know, every contribution helps out. Uh, hopefully, I can also get a replacement mouse soon. Uh, anyway, other than that, though, like, share, and subscribe if you don't want to see the showcase. If you do want to see the showcase, stick around because here it comes. Like I said, all these videos are unedited. I do not chop or cut for time because that is unfair. I want you guys to see everything fairly and in action. Okay, once again, for the sake of the dojo challenge, we're actually gonna put in nothing but grenades. So again, it's easier to tell if I have uh, faked out or used a grenade, all right? The key to dojo challenge, no consumable use allowed. Kick the ass of the strongest goddamn behemoths you can find, all right? Now, if you're ready for this, then like I said, I've got nothing to hide with my builds. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the dojo challenge. Let's do it. As you can see, the chain blades are level one. We've got a nice little Charog to start things off with. The key nature of this dojo challenge is to show you why these builds work and why they are so extreme and powerful. So at level 1, you're straight into an escalation. Again, don't be taking any hits now. There you go. Okay. First kill completed. Game says you can't go into these things at level 1. Why not? Why not? Dojo, dojo challenge worthy builds will help you do it. Oh, now we got two behemoths, right? Okay. One down. Keep in mind that these chain blades only just got to level two. Dead. Okay, next.
Do 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 do. Okay, it took a hit there, unfortunately, but happens. Now, as you can see, your DPS doesn't go down that much. Like, of course, it will go down by a bit, but it's not horrifying. Okay. Okay, damn, couldn't bump him out of it. Annoyed, but oh well. As you can see though, it's just a minor inconvenience. It will not bother you. The thing is almost dead. The build is strong enough to make up for it. Put Stalker down. You're now level 2. Congratulations. And then... Yeah, let's take that. I don't really care. Oh, is it dead? How shot. Alright, ladies and gents, your entire escalation is completed now. Dojo challenge completed, I think that was like 6 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, enjoy this Chainblade build right from level 1. Who says? Game, game says you can't enter. Go ahead and enter. Recommended 10? Bullshit. Not with a build like this. Now, some of y'all might still be disbelievers, so you know what? In a separate video, I'm just gonna go kick some serious ass. Alright. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a tip. You want to feed your boy? All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Rock on. Keep slaying. Play the game your way.